Oh, yeah. Now we come to the standing part of the program in a segment that many thousands of you throughout Australia will be waiting for. It's our viewers' competition for our mark and goal of the year. And I estimate that perhaps we've had something like 40,000 entries for the two separate competitions, an absolutely staggering response, and we're very pleased to hear from so many of you from right around Northern Territory, Western Australia, Queensland, and so on. It's with great pleasure that I introduce Mr Jack Hamilton, the General Manager of the Victorian Football League, who's kindly uh, come in to assist us in the draw. Thanks very much, Jack. My pleasure, Drew, and congratulations again on the response to the competition. It uh, means that you've got a tremendous viewing audience. Yes, it's really good to have uh, VFL football getting to so many people interstate. Actually, one of our uh, more unusual entries came from Cairns in northern Queensland on a coconut. And it's uh, a Mr R Pearson who sent his entry in with the stamps and everything. And uh, he's uh, gone for Mark and Gold both on the same uh, entry. But unfortunately, Mr Pearson, we can't fit the coconut into the, uh, the hole in the barrel here. So uh, uh, you can't be uh, eligible for the competition, but we appreciate your novelty in sending it in. Thanks. The only entry we'll eat. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Well, let's have a look now. Firstly, at our marks of the year, we reduced our original 12 to 6. And from these half a dozen, the mark of the year for 1979 will be taken. Here are the best six. Forward line, the curve held. Driving the Tigers deep into attack. Roach is the leap back. Oh, spectacular mark by Roach. Carmen's down there with Moyer. Carmen, oh. what a mark! Oh. Fabulous Phil. Breen. Parker. Oh, what a mark! What a mark! Madden call for it. Oh, trouble here. Oh, picking! Oh, what a mark! Dropping in the teeth of goal, edge of the square, Danaher sets himself, oh, Hawthorne mark. Well, some top marks taken there and some great highlights of football during the year, Jack. And the one that our commentators, who've done the winners during the season, have gone for as the mark of the year goes to a young man who represented Victoria for the first time this year, a former Tasmanian, only 20 years of age, the Richmond full forward Michael Roach, who kicked 90 goals for the season in a superb performance, and he'll be a star of VFL football for many years to come. The mark of the year, Michael Roach. Let's have another look. First goal from almost the same position, about 20 metres out directly in front, Inspirational play by the young forward. Jack, I reckon he probably nearly got as high as Alex Jezelenko over Jerker Jenkins some nine years ago. That's right. I don't think anybody would dispute the uh, judges in the selection of Roach. It was a great mark, Drew. Well, let's uh, go to the barrel and we'll give it a bit of a, a roll about. There are entries from all states of Australia. And when I say that there are many thousands, you've got to believe it because it's pretty hard to even move the barrel around. It weighs a ton. I'm glad it's your muscle helping me out there, Jack. Well, and the one we're looking looking for, Michael Roach, yep. and that one's gone for Carmen. Carmen, and that comes from Bega in southern New South Wales. Here it is, David Fowler from 179 Beresford Road, Swan View in Western Australia. Well, he'll be a happy young lad, David Fowler. Well, David Fowler wins two tickets to the grand final and we'll also bring him from Western Australia. We have two return air tickets from TAA and he'll come to Melbourne and stay in Melbourne on Saturday night at the Melbourne Hilton just over the road from the MCG. And it looks like David's a youngster by his handwriting and what a trip that'll be for him to come to Melbourne to see the grand final. Congratulations to you. Well, now we go on to uh, the goal of the year competition. And again, we reduced our original 12 down to six. And from these best half dozen, we'll pick the goal of the year. And again, another chance to come and see the grand final. Here are the best six. Eventually, Will Shepherd got the chance and kicks it to the man. Here's Gaunt and Paul Morwood. Morwood, great play. Sensational play. Forward pocket, spills one, has another chance. Kicks the goal. Oh, oh magnificent oh. goal by Craig Davis. Quinlan. Forward pocket, Bernie Quinlan. It's close. Oh, oh, oh. Goal. Stewart. Payton. Banks. Oh, threads his way through. Steers towards goal and puts through a miracle goal. Quick kick out in the direction of Wood. Greg is there. Could have got a free kick. Backing up his L's. Breaks clear now and goes goal. With no, a hand pass to Melrose. On to L's. You've got to get rid of it. Well done, Stanley Els. Oh, great piece of play, Els. That won't make the distance. 
He's just come on in Moya. And a shot for goal. And it's a goal! And the one we've gone for, it's the other end of the scale. Rather than a youngster in Michael Roach who won the mark, the goal has gone to an oldie in VFL football, 33-year-old Stan Alves. At his second club, he went to North Melbourne to play in a premiership, and uh, he's achieved that already. And, uh, well, uh, Stan Alves showed some superb skills there, all the skills of Australian football, and he is our goal of the year. Here it is again. And what skills by Stan Alves as he beats a tackle, spins out of more trouble, and one of the best kicks for goal in league football, a right foot snap right through the middle. Well, now we'll dig into the other half of the barrel and see if we can come out with the correct entry for uh, Stan Alves. I think we might have just go halfway. Yes, I think I'm getting tired that... doing this. Good luck. Number six, Moncrief. No. Moncrief of Hawthorne. That's come from Maui in Victoria. Another yeah. one from Moncrief from Brisbane. Brisbane. We've got plenty of variety. Paul Morwood, and that's yeah. come from Bustleton in Western Australia. Certainly interstate entries here. Um, Craig Davis from uh, Western Australia. You've certainly got uh, viewers all over. It's the following generally in Western Australia has been fantastic. Goal number, number 11. 11. It came from Narragin in Western Australia. Well, we certainly got heaps of uh, entries for Stan Alves. Craig Davis, Craig Davis, another entry from Western Australia. Uh, number one. Goal number one. Yeah, that's from Christie's Beach in South Australia. Dennis Banks. Another South Australian from Evanston Park. Craig Davis. <laughs> Mike Fitzpatrick. Henry Danaher. He was mm -hmm. eliminated in the first half of it. Yes, he went out early. And uh, here we've got Bob Pratt, uh, a little bit behind <laughs> the times. <laughs> Stan Elves. Ah, we do have a winner from Heidelberg. Ross Pringle, 13 Olive Grove, Heidelberg. Congratulations to you, Ross. So uh, Ross wins our uh, Goal of the Year competition, and he wins, uh, coming from Melbourne, he wins two tickets to go and see the grand final, and we hope our successful contestants enjoy uh, what they see at the grand final on the ABC. Our thanks again to Jack Hamilton for uh, coming in to draw it. Just got a little uh, prize for you. I saw it earlier in the program. Uh, the ABC hasn't got a lot of money, Jack, so we just thought we might like to be able to take that home and uh, have a drink of milk on the ABC for us. Thanks very much, Drew. You're too kind. <laughs> And thanks once again for coming in. And now we go on to uh, the next segment in the program and some more highlights out of today's preliminary final. Ireland's handball upfield to Ray Byrne. Goes for a bounce through a centre-half. 